everyone. Um, I thought I'd make a little video just to help out people that are trying to get their controller to work for Final Fantasy XI. Uh, it can be a little bit of a hassle. Uh, I've seen lots of lots of people struggling with it, and I think when I first started, I, I started struggled with it for about a month before I finally got it to work properly. Um, why do you want to use a controller? Well, because it was kind of designed for the game, but uh, keyboard's just as fine, but uh, I like using a controller. So I'm just gonna go over a few things, and maybe help some people out. Um, hopefully I can help you all out. So for starters, um, let's see here. Uh, one thing you gotta watch out for is uh, if you have more than one controller plugged in, it can conflict it with it. So if you, I, I use like a Logitech 310 and uh, I couldn't even get it to work because I also have a, like a gamepad plug, plugged in and it's like half key, uh, keyboard, half controller. Um, and they were conflicting with each other. So I unplugged the gamepad and then I plugged in my controller and my controller started working. So <laughs> felt dumb about that, but uh, yeah. Uh, you definitely want to go into your window settings and under and look under your controllers and make sure that there's only your one controller that's plugged in even like a fancy keyboard could throw it off so uh, hopefully you don't have like a keyboard that has like I don't know like it, you never know it could have like a little uh, macro system or something and then it can it can mess with it too so uh, this game was made a long time ago so <laughs> You never know. Just uh, it's a little trial and error, so try unplugging some things, and if it works, it works. Um, the other thing is uh, if you're using a PlayStation controller, an Xbox controller, uh, this doesn't apply to you. But uh, uh, on a Logic Tech 310 or another game uh, controller, they might have like a, a switch on it. And this is from X input to D input. Uh, I never put it on X input. It is annoying. I've tried new software. I've tried the actual software that comes with the controller. It, it just never seemed to work properly. It was too finicky. It's it, Final Fantasy doesn't like it. <laughs> so I always put it in D. Um, and then... Uh, here, I'll, I'll go to these settings here, but uh, that's your X input uh, profile. Uh, I don't even put that on, and I don't enable this. This box is pretty important, important. so you wanna have these checked, but not X input. And then uh, we'll come back to this, but um, when you're doing your config, just be aware of that there are three folders with this config in it and uh, they can like overwrite each other. So if you like do the config in Tools US, the U EU one might like overwrite this one and it might overwrite the default one. And if you do it in the default one, the one from the US can overwrite this one. It, it, I, don't, I don't understand why it does this, but um, usually I start in this one, the default uh, folder, and then open it and I do all my settings and then I go to the next one and I redo my settings and then I do the next one and I re redo my settings again. There is a, a cheat, so if you do the settings in the in the default folder, I just go like this and like copy, copy the folders, uh, not these, I don't think these apply, but these guys, I copy them over and then I paste them in uh, these two, two other folders and overwrite them. Um, I'm not sure if that causes any issues. It shouldn't. I've never had any problems with it saying, oh, the file is, you know, you know, like uh, what I mean, like this might be under a different like uh, destination or whatever for the application in these. They might be completely different applications, but it's worked for me. <laughs> I'm rambling on here. Uh, yeah, you just want to uh, start in this one, do your config, and then go to the next one and the next one. Make sure they're all the same. 
so they can't override each other with whatever one you missed. Okay, so you open it up and you want to do your config. I've, like I said, this box is this entire section is important. Make sure you have these like this. Um, I do this area second. What I start with usually is start off with movement, camera, and menus. Uh, if these don't work, chances are it has something to do with this. So you try a different one. Uh, so if your your menus aren't working, try pattern D instead of pattern A. They're pretty random. I've I've used all of them. Like I've I've gone to use pattern A and then it just didn't work. So I went to pattern D and it worked again finally and then vice versa i've gone like this d wasn't working and then i had to use c so it's very finicky <laughs> but needless to say i start with movement and i open it up and as you can see it says to press up and then press button one so you press up nothing changes then you have to find out which one button one is it might not be there it might be some random button on your controller so while holding up press every other button on your controller till you find out what the confirm button is oh mine just happened to be that one but uh like i said i'm pushing other buttons nothing's happening uh it changes uh on installation so it might be a different button than what I'm using. So I'm not, I usually use the top button, but uh, it could be any other button. So just uh, be aware of that. So now I press down, hit the confirm button, right, confirm button, left, confirm button. And it's working. Yay. I'm gonna cancel that because I don't want to mess with mine. Menus, same, same deal, up, hit your confirm, down, right, left. And then, yeah, see it works. Uh, like I said, if this this isn't working, try a different pattern. And uh, keep trying different patterns until that works. <laughs> After you've made sure that these are like this. And then for the, this section right here, you just want to highlight it and then press the button on the controller that you want to confirm want to be the confirm and it'll auto fill that in it'll change it automatically so this one you just highlight it and then you press the button on the controller and it'll it'll change it to the one that's that you push if that makes sense uh basically you're just key binding everything um i'm not sure how to get vibration to work i've I never really bothered, although it is makes the game a lot more fun. Um, you can mess with that after you get the controller actually working. <laughs> uh, what what else? Um, this heal and lock target button, it can be a little finicky. For some reason, sometimes I push it and push it and it doesn't work. So I, uh, in, I, I have it on analog camera button. Where you just push down that uh, camera. Uh, camera button for the analog but uh, you might have to change it to something else like a trigger button or something um, for some reason it, it, uh, it doesn't work sometimes um, these these guys uh, you might have to go back in and like change them and swap them because sometimes I like I try to set this and it is reversed so this one is actually six and this one is actually five. You'd have to go in and game to like see if they're reversed or not. You'll hit like, you'd think this would be the right one, but it might be left or whatever. Um, you might have to mess around with these guys. Um, what else am I forgetting here? Uh, oh yes, yes, yes. You, uh, you do all these configs in all the folders and then you go in you log you turn in turn on your game and you get to the character selection menu and your gamepad isn't working D don't freak out it might not it just might not be working for the login procedure 
So once you get, actually log into the game, click on your character and hit confirm and log into the game, your controller might start working then. For some reason, I think I think that's what this guy does. It, like if you do do the default one, it might work in the client, but um, these guys definitely use work inside the game. So <laughs> just be aware that you have to like log in completely into the game and be on your character to see if the controller is working. Um, other than that, uh, I don't think I can add anything else. Um, yeah, we went over uh, having multiple controllers could be a problem. Um, we've gone over X and D. We've covered these folders. Make sure your config is the same in all three. And yeah, these are my settings. Just pause and give them a go, see if they work. I think this is pattern A at the moment. And then hit OK. And then you can test your gamepad and make sure everything is working. All right, uh, I hope that helps everybody. Um, good luck. Take care.